Hello, good evening everyone. Um, today we're going to be installing Windows Server 2019. Um, I want to go through a few steps on how to get the image, how to install it. We're going to be using VMware Workstation. So let's get started and um, if this is your first time with the channel, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it and put any comments in the in the comment list below and just shoot me any requests and we will get that going. So let's get started. So first um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the eval page for Microsoft which is right up here and we're going to download the Windows Server 2019 the ISO file. Um, just hit continue. I already have this downloaded so I'm not going to do this um, but you can just hit continue and just put any any information. This is you can put Bob um, test, and, and it's not really required. But you can just hit continue and download the image. But that's the first thing you should do. And once that's done, we're going to create a new VM in here. And let's go to typical. I'll go to my image file, uh, Windows Server 2019. We're going to hit next here. Um, I'm just going to put admin. And it doesn't really matter um, about the settings. We don't have to put the key in because we're just using eval. Hit next. Um, that's fine. You can just hit continue, do that later. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to install this. I'm going to keep this at the default location. That's fine with me. Um, hit next this is all good next and this is fine so we'll just hit continue this is just going to go through the installation of the operating system and getting everything installed Once this resume, once this comes back, we will resume. Um, this may take about 15 minutes or so. It all depending on the speed. Oh, actually, sorry. We have to. This is. Um, we can just do standard KMS core is actually just a command line. So you don't want to do this. You want to do it actually with the desktop experience. So I'm just going to do KMS. That's fine in my situation and th now sorry now we'll resume in about 10 minutes or so once this is done um, see, in, see you guys in a bit alright guys so that that first part finished so here we're going to install the VMware um, VMware tools so it installed so I'm just going to hit yes on here to reboot so it can fin finish so we got the, this uh, downloaded and then we, you know, obviously we walk through the image upload and that process to get it installed. So now, once the installation is complete, we'll keep this short and sweet for this evening. And we'll just assign it an IP address and get this going. Let's get back. Okay. So in my case, let's see what IP address that it received. Actually, what we can do is just go to start run CMD. We can do an IP config. So this is going to pull off of a local VM NIC that we're utilizing. So, and I can show you that in a second. But we're going to statically assign this. So we're going to actually see what's the DHCP range that this is giving. And we're going to statically assign that because for future videos what we'll do is create this as a domain controller and set it up like a mini 
Active Directory Forest and get it all set up, ready to go. So let's just get that going. So first let's go to virtual network. Alright, so I believe it's going to be using this this one that's using because we got that subnet 192.168.119 that so we're utilizing this right now um, so we're going to actually change it to the host only because we're going to have it in a nested network uh, for testing and labbing, labbing up purposes so it's going to go on to the 172.16.20 IP address space so let's go ahead we're going to have to make one change on the settings of the VM itself. Um, see right here, actually I want to, um, no, we'll do that later. So we can just custom because I made that, that's going to be on VMNet 10, host only, that's fine. And then we're probably going to lose some connectivity as you can see, uh, but that's fine. Uh, what we're going to do is, let's do an IP config. Oh, okay, it, it already. Um, so now you're probably going to get. Now we're probably going to get a 169 address. Um, that's weird. Let's see. P config. That's flushed. It. Oh, my keyboard didn't work. All right. So IP config release. We're going to release this. There we go. Okay. And then if we try to renew it, it's not going to work because there's no there's no DHCP on that because it's only host only. So let's just get this IP address set up. Oh, what happened here? Okay. Interesting what's going on. My machine just spazzed out for a second. All right, so we're going to change the IP address settings here. I always disable IPv6, but you guys can leave it enabled. So to IPv4, we're going to put 172.16.20.5. I want to make what? Let's guess that's what happens when you don't pay attention and your num lock is off. 190, uh, 172.16.20.5, it's going to be a 24-bit mask. And then the gateway, we can make 172.16.20.1. Um, the DNS is going to be, this is going to be the DNS server uh, for, future, uh, for future videos, so um, we'll make this the same 16.20.5 and that should be it for now and just to test this that it's working I want to do something really quick just to demonstrate to show you guys how it actually communicates and how to get something working on the same network so I'm just going to boot this Windows 7 machine up really quick uh, that's fine. Um, and then I want to make a change. I want to I want to put it on that same network. So not NAT. We're going to put it on the VNet 10. So let's boot this up, and we'll give this a shot. Let's make sure this communication, so you guys understand what I'm doing. Okay, this is a Windows 7 machine. Um, it's probably going to have no internet, but let's go ahead and change some settings. I want to disable IPv4. And I'm going to have to put this on the same address space. So 172.16.20. Oh, again, uh, numlock. It always gets me. 16.20. I want to make this 1.10. It doesn't really matter. And then 
one. It's not a DNS server yet, but it will be. So now if we go back to the 2019 box, and now if we do IP config, and now if we do ping 172.16.20.6, Right, because that's the Windows 7 machine. It should be pinging. Give it a second. Probably sending an ARP request. Uh, hmm. Oh, I put the wrong IP. Oh, did I do it again? Sorry, guys. I have no light. <laughs> I'm doing this in the dark. Really, really strange. All right, let's troubleshoot this together. So, this settings. Net ten only. Custom VNet 10. Did I mess up on an IP address? Give me a possibility. We're all human. Let's see here. One seventy two sixteen. Oh, I was trying to ping the wrong IP. Sorry guys, it's late. <laughs> um Interesting. My two sixteen dot twenty dot one dot ten. Let me see if I can ping the other way. This is very interesting. Let's go back to the settings for that. 172.16.20 This is a longer video than expected. Uh, yeah, this is all correct. 172.16.20. Yeah, this is all correct. VNet 10. Oh, you know what? I know what it might be. Let's turn off the firewall. The firewall always gets you. And let's go turn it off on Windows Server as well. It's always a little things. Okay. Defender. Turn this off. Yes. I want to turn them all off. Now let's see if we have any luck. 
There we go, finally. There's always a little something. Troubleshooting is the best way to learn. So now we're able to communicate from the 2019 box to the Windows 7. Let's go the other way now. Boom. So we are pinging between both hosts and we're ready to go on to the next lesson. So stay tuned and I will be doing a promoting that machine to a domain controller and setting up as a DNS server and showing you guys how to get those roles and features installed and configured and then we'll go on to joining this Windows 7 machine and a Windows 10 machine to that domain and having everything work out so you can get the lessons and the understanding of how small and large enterprises work in an Active Directory forest. Thank you for watching and guys have a wonderful evening and remember just please subscribe like my video and if you have any comments please comment below and I will put the links and everything to my social media and to where I got the ISO for this and we can have a blessed day everyone and enjoy your evening.